What's up, what's up, what's up? Got another casty cast. None other than uh, your boy Joe, you know? And uh, I just want to give a shout out to Falcon Paladin, all his uh, uh, subscribers, members. Uh, appreciate subscribing. Uh, I appreciate Falcon for uh, doing that replay I sent him. And uh, yeah, really appreciate it. Thank you. That game was awesome. I hope. I don't think I'll ever be able to find another game like that. Um, maybe I will. But uh, who knows? Maybe these games will be just as good. But um, yeah, so just going to get right into it. We got Legend Hydra, a.k.a. Tom, on the Terran. He is playing White and Black, who's also known as Gold SCV. Let me get my volume up a little bit. And um, it looks like an Gold SCV is on the Zerg, so top right. And he's not going for your typical choke build order, so this will be interesting to see. And Tom usually likes to go, Hydra usually likes to go with that quick barracks, get that quick gas, and then go for the two factories. So it's kind of like a, it's a mech build order. It's not, it's not kind of, so it is. We'll see if... We'll see if Gold SV plays, see how risky he plays this when he's going for th two hatcheries. He might go for three, so three extra hatcheries. Extremely risky right here. So, very interesting to see. I, these guys have played a decent amount of games together. These games are actually played today. They played ten total games. I'm going to try and cast as many as I can of these two. Um, and we'll see who's the better player. So one marine out for Hydra. You got the three extra hatcheries. You got the pool getting made. And this little Rhiney, did he get spotted out? I think I think Gold SCV was able to see that little Rhiney. Making his way. Making his way. And Hydra gonna kinda scout the chokes, and this might be bad for him unless he sees this. Overlord here, so let's we'll see if he spots this overlord. He may think so. Yeah, I, he's gonna think that gold SCV is right here because of this overlord. He's thinking the overlord came out and went over here, so he knows he's up against a Zerg, but this is gonna give gold SCV some time. And go and Hydra's gonna be like, What the heck is going on? So Hydra might even think he's all the way down here. Or he's gonna send. Yeah, he's a little confused. He's not. He's not sure what Gold SCV is doing. He' pr pretty sure he's gonna see this. He doesn't see this Overlord either. So two vultures are out, and this is gonna be a decent amount of Zerglings. I'm guessing. Is it gonna be Zerglings? Nope. So quick Hydras from Gold SCV. So, and of course this is uh. On the SCW map, well, already a quick starport for Hydra. But like I was saying, this is on the SCW map. Um, it's a little bit different than the Korean map. Hydra gonna see these Zerglings and do a little Vulture Micro. His Micro is pretty sick with uh, Vultures. I'm gonna take out all of those Zerglings there. And four Marines here. And let's see what... Gold SCV is going to go with. I'm not exactly sure how you play a Zerg that that doesn't choke. I think maybe you kind of want to build bunkers in, in their base. And Hydra's going to see that he is up against quick Hydras. So don't get confused with his name and what he's up with. Against, up against, right? Because I might. Two tanks. Let's see if Siege is almost done. Siege is not almost done, so... Still has a little time for Siege to get completed. An extra command center getting made for Hydra. He might have to build a bunker up here. Because he's he knows he's going to be up against some Hydras. So we'll see how he handles this. <clears throat> I was watching uh, recently. Gold SCV was playing <clears throat> uh, Hamburger Sasu. And they played Protoss versus Protoss. And Gold SCV went 
three and two on Hamburger Sasu. All Protoss versus Protoss. Now that was on Hamburger Sasu's channel, but good mine placement here. But uh, oh, gonna get three Hydra. So good job there by by Hydra. It's gonna siege up. This is really not gonna do any damage. These Hydras are not gonna do any damage to Hydra. So yeah, Gold SV realizing he's gonna have to get out of there, and he might go for. So he's gonna get the lair. And he might go for Burrow, maybe? Let's see if he's getting Burrow. He might try to Burrow some of his Hydras here. Some of his Hydras here. I think Hydra is going to... Well, actually, I, I really don't know what Hydra is going to go with. He might just go with the bigger tech kind of build. He's getting a Wraith. I think he's going to use this Wraith to try to... Oh, he already has one. So he's going to use this Wraith to kind of... Ooh. These Hydras might snipe out that... Yep, they're gonna get that Wraith. So good job there by Gold SCV. Good control. But six tanks over here for for Hydra. Not making any more tanks. Making a a fourth command center. So really going on the macro end here. And Gold SCV is really playing this one pretty risky. Getting an extra two four hatcheries here. He's got four back here, so he's got eight plus his main, so he's got five. He's gonna have a total of nine. So total of nine macro hatcheries. Hydra getting a bunker up here because he might be a little bit worried about maybe some lurkers, but good amount of tanks here. Here's another Wraith. I think he's gonna use this Wraith to kind of scout and see exactly what Gold SCV is up to here. So it's going to run right into these. Ooh. Dodged the Hydras right there. So Hydra going to see he's not up against. He's going to actually get a full vision, full vision of Gold SV's base. And he's going to see that he's not up against a Hive yet. So he doesn't really have to worry about a Swarm and Lurkers. And then he also doesn't have to worry about uh, Guardians. So, but a lot of... Hydra spread out here for Gold SCV, and I believe the reason he's got this like this is to kind of catch out any vessels that come into, that try to sneak its way over into gold, his base, Gold SCV's base. So, Gold SCV at 71 supply, getting another two more macro hatcheries. So, this is going to be a pretty macro intensive game here. Two. Two more starports. One has been already created. One more on the way. And it's just going to be a waiting game for now. Both playing about 200 to 230 APM. Gold SCV will, will get up to about 300. Uh, Zerg's a little bit harder to, to get that APM up. And. Yes, yeah, so, I mean. If I was in Gold SCV shoes right now, uh, he's looking pretty pretty healthy. And if you look, Hydra's getting a lot of defense. Gonna do some scanning. I guess it's not gonna show me what he scanned, but he's got three commsats. He's got the three extra command uh, command centers, making. Tanks now, and is he getting upgrades? He is getting one upgrade. I don't see his other armory. And if I had to bet, I would say Gold SCV is going to win this one because his base is just going to keep growing. He's getting upgrades as well. Almost done with his upgrades. And a little Valkyrie and two vessel action coming from Hydra. So I think he's going to try and go after... Gold SCV's minerals. Valkyries are really good against guardians. So we'll see if this sneaks all the way around. Gonna go all the way the long way. And here's here's some burrow action from Gold SCV. And Gold SCV just, just macroing up. Whoops. Just slowly macroing up. Getting his defiler bound. And 
Looks like there's going to be an attack coming from Hydra. He's going to spot out all these lurkers here. Siege up a couple of his tanks. And while he's doing this, he's got his little uh, vessels going to be coming. He's going to have two Valkyries here. So he's going to try to do it. Try to do, it's not a drop, but go after the minerals. Nice scan there by Hydra. And Hydra just going to slowly take over the middle. And his base, he has four, five factories. He's got another two more on the way. And he's got five total starports. So, going to be able to go on the offensive here. He's only at 177 supply, but he's got one Goliath. Here's that drop that I'm talking about. Or mineral attack. That's what you can call it. Another factory getting made, so... I don't really know if he's trying to, to be too aggressive. I think he's just trying to... To get Gold SCV to, to send out all his units. And that's a lot of units. And here comes... Here comes the Valkyries. They got the defense mechanism. And they're just going to go right after the minerals here. Going to take out 13. Wow, going to take about, about 30 to 40 drones right there. So look at this huge attack from Gold SCV though. With that obliterated, that obliterated Gold SCV's minerals. So here comes the big attack. Hydra gonna have to pull back. He's got a couple, he's got three bunkers here. Just gonna siege up. He's got so many tanks. I, 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 this area is just too small. I think this is just gonna get rocked. Gold SV is gonna have to keep using that. His um, yeah. There's the GG. So yeah, not able to win that one. Terran versus Zerg first game goes to Hydra. Just that one, one little drop really, really, uh, not drop, but mineral take really, um, cost the game for, won the game for Hydra and also cost the game for Gold SCV. So this is the second game between these two. They were playing actually this morning. And for this game we have... Gold SCV on his, on the Protoss. I love seeing his Protoss. He's got top top three Protoss, I would say. Maybe maybe top five, but I think I think top three. And then we got Hydra in the middle, and he's on the Zerg. Hydra chatting with Gold SCV, talking talking to Gold SCV, letting him know he uh. He played against JH, and um, he had a four-hour game against JH. So, I casted the other two games of Hydra versus JH, and uh, those are pretty good games. Yeah, they're talking about mid-base. Mid-base kind of sucks in this map. I'm going to guess Gold SV is going to say, well, you should start playing the Korean maps. Yeah, so Hydra's Zerg is is really, really good. Gonna send out the Overlord in the middle. We'll speed up just a little bit. Gonna send the Overlord to the middle to scout for any mid mid Protoss building. And then after you, you send the Overlord to the middle, you put him in this little corner spot so you can see if there's any units that come out this way or if they come out this way and you can kind of get an idea of where your opponent's at, but Hydra gonna get scouted. He is in a middle middle base, which kind of sucks. He's gonna get four Zerglings, I think. Yeah, and Gold SCV going with an extra Nexus, two quick gas. It's kind of your standard build. And Hydra's gonna have six Zerglings here that are gonna spawn out. Do a little micro action with that drone and get that drone in to make that creep colony. So 
I'm going to guess that I'm going to guess that Hydra knows that he's he's down here. I don't think this is a a blind attack here. I think he knows that that gold SCV is most likely here. So and now he does see it, so he's gonna probably go after some probes. Do a little probe bashing. We'll see how his micro macro is. Gold SCV really good at saving probes. Um moving them as soon as they get attacked. So we'll see if Hydra see what Hydra kind of goes for here. He's at a kind of a bad position. Gold SCV is so close to him. Being at this right next to him. Once he gets drops, it's so close he can go from right here to right here. So I I'm gonna guess that Gold SCV is gonna go for drops. And Hydra just being a little annoying with his with his Zerglings here. But still gonna get some information. And it, there's no proxy. I don't see oh here's these okay, that's a robotics and a citadel. So got a robotics and a citadel. Little micro to kill this zealot. Not gonna get it killed. Oh, he is gonna get it killed. So good job there by Hydra. But he still only has two lings. Gonna scout this out and know he's up against drops. So I think Hydra's gonna have to go for quick Hydra Lisks. And gonna keep scouting. Doing a pretty good job microing. Gonna kill almost kill a probe. It's being extremely annoying. And ooh, maybe. Let's see. He got a couple more Zerglings here, so. I was thinking that maybe he was gonna go for some Zergling speed and then a bunch of Zerglings and go for an attack like that, but uh, apparently not. Getting his fourth extra hatchery here, and there's the Hydralisk Den. Sending in six Zerglings to do some more scouting action. Gonna see that the Templar Archives is gonna be finishing up and the Robotics is finished, so gonna just be a little bit annoying to gold SCV not is it not only is it annoying but also able to get that scout so but gold SCV has seven zealots he should be no problem holding this off not gonna really have to micro too far from his base and he's getting a reaver so getting the reaver before the shuttle oh no there is a shuttle there okay so getting he's got the shuttle and then he's getting the reaver so I think what he's going to do is he's going to put his Zealots and Reaver into the shuttle, fly it right on over, and then try to just, instead of going for the push up here, he's just going to try to make it easy and, and slowly not have to attack the front and just start the attack right here by shuttling over all of his units with the shuttle. Almost going to get this Templar, so good job there by Hydra. And Hydra does have seven, seven Hydralis and another, another ten. So, he's got ten Hydra, so he might, we'll see if he goes for the quick attack. I think that would be a smart move here. Going, he's got, going with eight Hydras. Going to do some micro action. Oh, he's just going to run past the Zealots. I don't think I saw a drop. And gonna try to snipe this out. Oh, he sniped out. Good job. He sniped out the the shuttle. So able to snipe out the shuttle there. But there still is a reaver in the shuttle. Or there still is a shuttle. And a reaver in it. Almost gonna go right into these hydras. Hydra gonna have to probably pull back here. No. Nope. And just gonna be some. Reaver shuttle micro from Gold SCV and Dark Templars. Good move there by Gold SCV. Ooh, he got and he got the shuttle, so able to get the shuttle. But Hydra lost a lot of his Hydras, so he's got eight here for drops. He's got another twelve here, so I think he's gonna either have to start maybe turtling up a little bit. We'll see. And here comes a quick drop. It's got three Dark Templars. And is there... 
There is a couple overlords, so... And it gets shot out, so... Good job there by Hydra. Hydra attacking up here. But these zealots don't have speed, so I think Gold SCV might have forgot speed. Oh, it's, it's just about done. Two more robotics coming from Gold, Gold SCV. Little micro with these sunken. And is this a drop down here? So, oh no, DTs. So no... No drops have landed from Gold SCV onto Hydra's Zerg. So, I really like Hydra's Zerg. And I have to ask, I'm going to have to ask him if he, if he named himself Hydra after being a Zerg player. Because he's really good at Zerg. You got three Templars in here, so we'll see if this drop lands. And see, this is what's so hard about being in this position is drops are easy. Uh, they're really close. Don't have to go... That much of a distance. Gonna have these overlords out here to, to spot out the drops, but it really is not is not ideal. Not ideal. So gold SCV just gonna start macroing up. He's got four robotics here. Okay, just checking my dog. Uh, my dog just went to the vet, so I just wanted to see your results. Um, sorry if I missed anything. I don't think I did. I just got six extra hatcheries right here, so he's been able to progress pretty well. But I think that there's just it's a lot of. A lot of robotics and gold SCV starting to build his base up a little bit bigger and he's just gonna start probably going for a bunch of drops and that's what that's what he's really good at just continuing to drop 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 get those drappy drops and keeps them coming here comes that drop oh he's just gonna drop everything here gonna probably storm Sniped out. Good job there by Hydra. Able to snipe out one of those Templars, but there's still two down there. And gonna with that Reaver, and then another drop coming in. And Hydra gonna move. I think he's gonna lose his drones though. Yeah, he lost lost a good amount of his drones there. He's only got 16 left. So really nice job there by by Gold SCV. He went for that drop. Made use some storms, making Hydra have to pull back his Hydras, and I, he must have had another drop, or he, he picked up another drop really quick, and another storm right there. So he's able to get another, and then he was able to get that storm right on in. So Hydra is gonna have to try to get lurkers and survive as long as he can. One of the best things to do when you're Zerg and you're up against drops is is to put lurkers around. Your main base and Hydra getting an expo in two spots so interesting gonna get expo in two spots another big drop coming here from this is a gigantic drop from gold SCV and this this might end the game right here this is just so big not I think this whole there's more shuttles than than there are hydras here and trying to fly it in I don't know if there's any reavers in here Here's the Templars. Gonna get a couple storms off. And we'll see if these still dropping units and gonna get even more drones there. So really dropping everything. And I think that's the GG. I think that is the GG. And here comes another drop. I mean. This is what Gold SCV does. He just keeps the drops coming. Yeah. 12 kills for this Templar right here. Really, really well played from Gold SCV. He makes it look easy and, and it's not. You know. He makes it look easy and it's not. So, first two games between these two. One and one. Um, I'm going to end this cast and then uh, I'll probably do a cast a little bit later today. 
Um, I just got to gotta pick up my dog from the vet. So I hope you enjoyed the games. And uh, if you liked it, like the, like the uh, cast and also uh, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Peace.